Here we go! you leave Kirkwall someday? I might, if I can persuade the right person to come away with me. I'll miss you. You'll write to me, won't you? Do pirates write letters? <laughs> Badly. Hook hands make for awful penmanship, kitten. We've been here too long. Mathal protect us. Another one. Too many of you Shemlin around lately. I've heard the Dalish are hiding an assassin in their camp. Do you know anything about this? It's been a long time since I've seen new Elvan faces around here. Maybe talk to Faril. She would know. Greetings, champion. That is what they call you in your city, isn't it? Did you need something? I hear there is a criminal hiding among the Dalish. He is not among us. This criminal of yours is set up in a cave away from our camp. He said there would be people looking for him, and to tell anyone who asked where he was. Why would he give away his position? He said he didn't want to endanger our people by asking us to lie for him. Not something you'd expect from a cruel and evil murderer, is it? He'll be waiting for you at the cave. Good luck trying to reach him, however. Strange. The man wants to be found.
Looks like a fight! Be ready! How about you? Strange. The man wants to be found. Traps. You can't say our man wasn't prepared. Tread lightly around here. You happy now?
Now you, I wasn't expecting. I thought I smelled Antivan leather. <laughs> Isabella! If it isn't my favorite pirate wench. <laughs> Shouldn't you be dead by now? I could say the same, my dear. It seems we were both fortunate to find powerful friends, no? How do you do? My name is Zevran Aranai, adventurer and occasional assassin. I must admit, I was waiting for an assault by the Crows, not the mighty champion of Kirkwall. How do you know I'm the champion? Slayer of Kunari, Deep Roads Explorer, and, may I say, one fine specimen of manhood? You underestimate your fame. How do you two know each other? How does anyone know Isabella? Yes, well, you'll never know Isabella again if you keep that up. I'll assume you're not talking about birds. Oh, please, do not tell me you know nothing of the Antivan Crows. We are the finest guild of assassins, an object of fear throughout the lands for any man with wealthy enemies. <laughs> or, I should say, they are. I am no longer a crow, a fact they find unacceptable. There must be more to it than you leaving the guild. That is offense enough to the crows, believe me. I may have also killed the last four assassins they sent after me, and uh, all their men. Oh, and the guildmaster. In fact, if you were a crow, you might make a fortune bringing me in. <laughs> you should consider a career change. <laughs> no, really. I thought you'd be taller. Ah, let me guess. A man named Nuncio has asked you to capture a dangerous killer, yes? What did he say this time? That I killed his wife? Butchered his parents? Sold his children into slavery? Or did he tell you he was a lawman from Antiva, charged with apprehending a ridiculously handsome fugitive? I suppose you aren't a murderer at all, then. Oh, indeed I am. Uh, but technically, I imagine everyone here can rightfully claim that title. Bring me to Nancio if you wish, but I warn you, he surely intends to kill you. The Crows do not like loose ends, unlike myself. But you are a man who can clearly handle himself, yes? Hmm? Why worry? So, you can either tie me up, gag me, and then manhandle me. Or you can take me to Nancio. Which will it be, I wonder? You know him best. What do you think? I've had better. I meant about letting him go or not. Oh, right. I'd let him go. I'm not going to hand you over to someone who lied to me. As a suggestion, you might wish to deal with Nuncio. If you don't, he will only come after you. It's been more than a pleasure, my dear champion. Fare you well.
You didn't tell me the assassin you wanted captured was once one of your own. Ah, uh, so Zevron told you, did he? It really doesn't matter. This time, his warden isn't here to protect him. I am thoroughly disappointed. No one fails the crows and lives. Ah, poor stupid Nuncio. The crows do like that saying, but I am living proof it's a lie. <laughs> Why they insist on thinking they can kill people like you and the warden, <laughs> I will never guess. Let me tell you, it's a burden I bear on a daily basis. You are nothing but a traitor and a coward, Zevron. You'll die here! Yes, well, let's see how that works out for you. Get ready! <laughs> <laughs> to me when you're done. Slave driver. Excellent. Killing my former brothers in arms is oddly satisfying. I've little reward to offer you, champion, but perhaps this will serve as a token of my thanks. My dear Isabella, it has been a delight to see you again. You travel in fine company. That's it? You're leaving? What about sex? <laughs> Still blunt as a dwarven hammer, huh? Well, why not? I hope you haven't forgotten about me. 
What? You can come too. Indeed. The more the merrier. Let's find someplace quieter. I think I just threw up a little in my mouth. Ew.